In the metal squadron, taking a look at the March silver contract, which went up 1.77% on the highs today, finishing the day up 1.3% on a two-day streak. On the downside, down 78 basis points at 27.15. That high level was 27.85 per ounce. As I mentioned, two-day streak higher for silver. Second straight session after being up almost 3.6% yesterday. So up almost 5% in two days. We're now up four of the last six weeks. If you count this week as an up week, it's pretty early in the week. But in five of those weeks, we made higher highs. And in all six of those weeks, including this week's, we made higher lows. Today marks the highest prices we've seen in silver futures since September of 2020. Seasonality is going to continue to push silver. The first two weeks of January has a typical seasonal effect of driving silver prices higher. Then there's a pause for the last two weeks of January, and then you have pretty much straight up for a month and a half to two months for that silver seasonality. Obviously, seasonality cannot be the only underlying factor for a long position in silver, but it is a tailwind. If all else is equal, that seasonality may come into play. But also, we're looking at the dollar as usual in its inverse relationship to precious metals. Silver happens to be a precious and an industrial metal. But we got the Georgia runoff Senate elections. And if there were to be a Democratic sweep, there could be much more stimulus on a much larger level, much quicker. Whether that's good or bad for the economy, we don't know, but it will add more dollars to the systems. We could that could potentially push the dollar even further down, which could potentially drive silver higher. It's a long shot to be able to make that kind of a prediction, but that seems to be what the market is playing on from a perspective of the rally that we've seen. So again, silver definitely in an uptrend with some fundamental factors that could potentially continue that uptrend.